natural fibre chemistry unit 1, 7, acids and alkalis. pH scale. pH is measured using universal indicator, pH paper or a pH meter. The scale can go from minus 1 to 15, but most substances lie between 1 and 14. Acids have a pH of less than 7. Alkalis have a pH of greater than 7. Neutral substances have a pH of exactly 7. The pH scale is dependent on the concentration of H plus ions and is based on the fact that water is partially ionised. H2O breaks down to H plus and OH minus ions which also reform to give you H2O, a reversible reaction. Acids and alkalis affect the pH when added to water, so change the H plus ion concentration. In pure water, H plus equals OH minus. In acids, H plus is greater than OH minus ions. And in alkalis, H plus is less than OH minus ions. Soluble metal oxides form alkalis. Soluble non-metal oxides form acids. All fizzy drinks are acidic because of the carbon dioxide gas dissolved in them. Most cleaning compounds tend to be alkaline. Strong acids are those which completely disassociate into ions, i.e. every molecule is broken into its constituent ions. Weak acids are those which are only partially disassociated into ions. All alkanoic acids, ethanoic, methanoic and the like, are weak acids. Hydrochloric, sulfuric and nitric are all strong acids. Strong alkalis are those which are completely disassociated into ions. Every molecule is broken into its ions. Weak alkalis are those which are only partially disassociated into ions. Ammonium solution, ammonium hydroxide, is a weak alkali. Ammonia is also very water soluble and has a pungent smell. Think of wet nappies. Sodium, potassium and calcium hydroxides are all strong alkalis. Strong versus weak. Strong acids have a higher ion concentration than a weak acid of the same concentration. This means that they react faster, they have a higher electric electrical conductivity and have a lower pH. However, they are neutralised by the same amount of a base. Effect of dilution. Diluting an acid increases its pH towards 7. Diluting an alkali decreases its pH towards 7. Diluting both reduces their electrical conductivity. 8. Salt preparation. Reactions of acids. Neutralisation reactions moves the pH of an acid to 7, producing water. A base is a substance that neutralises an acid. An alkali is merely a soluble base. Salt, ionic compound formed from the negative ion of the acid and the positive ion from the neutraliser, usually metal. Hydrochloric will give you a chloride. Nitric will give you nitrate. Sulfuric will give you sulfate. Ethanoic will give you ethanoate. 1. Acid plus alkali will give you metal hydroxide, uh, give you a salt plus water. Acid plus metal oxide will give you a salt plus water. Acid plus metal carbonate will give you a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. And acid plus metal will give you a salt and hydrogen. 1 to 3 are neutralizations, while 4 is a displacement reaction. One thing to look for, if a gas is being produced during the reaction, this can be used to measure the reaction rate. Think of open-ended questions. Spectator ions are ions which do not change during the reaction, so don't actually take part in the reaction. You will find them in solution on both sides of the arrow. Acid rain caused by sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide affects buildings, structures and wildlife. Farmers use lime, powdered calcium carbonate, to neutralise the effect on soils and lakes. Fertilisers, water-soluble compounds containing one of the three essential elements needed for healthy plants, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, can be made by neutralisation reactions of acids by ammonia. Precipitation reactions. 
These are where there's a formation of an insoluble salt from two solutions. How do you know a participation reaction will take place? Solubility data on in the data book. You take the names of the two chem uh, soluble chemicals to start with, for example, lead nitrate and potassium iodide. Swap the two positive ions to make new substances, lead iodide and potassium nitrate. If one of these compounds is insoluble, in the data book, then a precipitation reaction will occur. How to spot a precipitation reaction equation? Look at the state symbols. The two reactions must both be AQ and one product must be S. Titration calculations. At the end point, neutralization of a titration, number of H plus ions equals the number of OH minus ions. So the calculation is PCV acid equals PCV alkali. We P is the number of H ions in the formula, alkali, number of OH ions in the formula, C is concentration and V is volume.